place. Welcome, to welcome, to welcome, to welcome, to welcome to another episode of UC Event.net. My name is Steel, Jimmy and Sofa, and this is the prediction of WEC 44, Brown versus Aldo. And this fight will be very, very entertaining because Mike Brown, have you seen his last fights? He is on a tear. He won like the 10 last fights. And, uh, you know, before his Achilles heel was the submission game. His only losses have been through submission. But, I know, you know, all the submission guy he has lost, it has been very, very good submission guy. His first loss was actually to the fattest light lightweight fighter in the world, Harmes Franca. Submission, triangle choke. And then he won like eight fights or something. Then he fought Genki Sudo. And he's a very entertaining fighter. And he lost that fight through armbar. Uh, then he fought Joe Lozon. Submission again. And then his latest loss was to uh, Misaki Iminari. And he's a leg lock specialist. He's crazy with the leg lock. So, uh, yeah, and he lost the leg lock. Uh, but then, you know, he he been training with American Top Team now, and he's a brown belt in BDJ. And now he has good submission defense and submission offense. And, you know, he got some dynamite in his hand because he's a big, big uh, featherweight. Uh, <laughs> uh, he's, he's a monster, and, you know, he had a good wrestling, um, good pace. Uh, you know, he, he crushes people. But, you know, he's facing Jose Aldo, and he's a, he's a KO machine, you know. Uh, he, he got 15 wins, and he, 10 of them have been for knockout, rest of them, submission. And uh, the thing is, he's actually a, mood, he, he's a BDJ black belt, but, you know, press the link down there after this, this prediction, because uh, that's the... There's a clip about, you know, Mike Brown and Aldo. Uh, and there you're going to see his, his latest TKO, you know, that, that double flying knee. <laughs> that he knocked out Cobb Swanson in like eight seconds or something. That was crazy. Crazy. Uh, but uh, <clears throat> it's hard to say. I actually believe if, if uh, Jose Aldo, you know, He's a high, high paced fighter, but uh, uh, you don't know how his gas tank is, how, how, how his wrestling is, because the problem with many BDJ fighters is that, that they, they are comfortable on their back, but it, you know, that, uh, that uh, could function back in the days, but to today, you know, people are so aggressive and they would punish you and you would actually lose the fight. So, um, uh, Mike Brown. You know, it's a five round, five rounds. You know, so, Jose Aldo, he, he have to do it quick. You know, knock him out in the first or second round. Or, you know, stung, stung him or, or win for a submission. That is his chance. But Mike Brown, I believe that, you know, he's a seasoned vet now. And um, he, will, he will grind it out, uh, take him down, you know, wear him out, wear him out, wear him out. And maybe finish him, actually for a submission, but... It's yeah, maybe a decision, a decision. But uh, I will uh, actually root for uh, Aldo because I really like him. But uh, you know, Mike Brown, you can't you can't bet against him. Uh, you know, he he's like a Matt Hughes with dynamite in his hand because Matt Hughes he was he was pretty boring. Uh, next fight is a very entertaining fight too. Uh, Melvin uh, Gambarian and he's actually. A relative to um, um, Carparisian, and he's a he's a black belt in judo, uh, and he's an Armenian, um, and uh, <clears throat> and um, you know he's he was in the Ultimate Fighter Five, and he fought uh, Nick Diaz's brother and uh, Nate Nate Diaz in the final and, and lost to him through uh, I don't know if was he injured there I don't know man. Nate Diaz won, won the fight, uh, you know, and, and he fought in, in uh, lightweight, but not, now he's down in featherweight. But uh, I don't know, mm. you know, 
he got good, you know, judo hips. He's frozen stuff. But the butter, you know, he's facing Lennon Garcia. And Lennon Garcia, I really like this dude. He's a Mexican fighter, which, you know, he got hard. And uh, the first time I saw him, it, it, it was against um, the pretty boy, Roger Huerta, El Matador. Uh, and, <laughs> and, you know, he got hard because, you know, Roger Huerta, he's a high paced fighter too. And um, Roger Huerta really punished him, but he was smiling the whole fight. <laughs> he's a crazy dude, man. But, uh, you know, um, he lost to Cole, Cole Miller, but, you know, he, he got, you know, injury problems. And uh, then, you know, he beat uh, Takai and Jens Pulver for TKO. And then he faced Mike Brown, but, you know, Mike Brown, he's a beast, man. And then he, and then he beat uh, Jamie, Jamel Masao. And now he's facing Manon Kimberian. But uh, this fight could go either way. Lennon Garcia will, you know, pop, 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 knock him out. Or Manuel Gabriel will win through a decision. Mm, but I, I think that Lenny Garcia will win through a TKO. Which round? It's hard to say. But uh, mm, third round. Third round. TKO. Uh, Rob McCollum versus uh, Karen Darabadei. Uh, Darabadei. Uh, I can't pronounce his name. But you know who it is. Uh, Rob McCollum here, he is actually. Uh, Kickbox, no, Muay Thai fighter, uh, kick, uh, Muay Thai champion, and you know, back in the days, he was a KO machine, he knocked out everybody, man, uh, but uh, it was a, it was a, it, 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 uh, like five fights ago, he actually had a KO or a TKO, uh, no, four, four fights ago, uh, and you know he's facing this dude, Karen Darbidayan. Is and you know he's a, he he wins through submissions, TKOs, or decisions. You know he's a well well-rounded guy, but mm, he's a guy who likes to you know grind it out, take him down, and punish him on the ground. Uh, but. Uh, Mm, I believe that it would be a TKO, maybe maybe for a referee stop it, for a cut or something. Uh, because, you know, Rob McCollum, he, he wants to stand up. But I believe that Karen, Karen Derby Diane will take him down, take him down, and yeah, st stop him. No, 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 I've, I changed it to a decision. To a decision. Next fight, Danny Castillo versus Shane uh, Roller. Shane. Yes, yes, Shane Roller. Uh, and Danny Castillo, what can you say about him? Uh, he, he was on a tear until he faced <laughs> Donald Cerrone and, and got subbed. But, you know, he got good, uh, good wins. You know, uh, Rafael Diaz TKO, uh, Ricardo Lamas TKO. That was his last fight. And um, uh, he's... He's, uh, what do you say? Uh, he's a good fighter, but you know, he's facing Shane Roller. And Shane Roller, he's, he's very, very good. He's, he's, his latest loss was to Ben Henderson, but you know, Ben Henderson is a tough, tough ass dude. And I believe that it, he will win through a submission. Guillotine choke, because that's his specialty. He's a, Great with that guillotine choke, so yeah, guillotine choke, Shane Roller. And one more thing, press the link down there and check out the, you know, the pre-video of this event. Hey, it's all over! Stay fresh.